Hello and welcome back to another video and today's video we are going to be reviewing the hashtag CP photos. Now I know I haven't done this in a while and I really do apologise for that. I have been terrible keeping up with that but I have been going through some things recently so I've not had time to make those videos. I've not made time either to do any of those creative photography videos but they will be coming back soon. Just bear with me, but it has been incredible seeing your work and I would like to say thank you so much to everyone using the hashtag. It's also amazing that people are coming to me for advice. I'm like, I'm just like a 21 year old photographer, still got so much to learn and people are saying you're my inspiration. That means so much and is just so incredible to hear. So I've got to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who has messaged, who has used the hashtag, who has followed me, who has subscribed, who has liked a video, who has commented, Thank you all so much. So I think we should just jump straight into the hashtag and see what photographs you have been creating. And the first photograph that caught my eye today was by Photo Amy 19, where you've been playing with some particle photography. And this is really cool. I love water particle photography. When you nail it, it just works. And this is a shot that you have just nailed really well. It would have been good to see your hand out of the shot. Uh, I maybe have like a green background. I don't know if I would have bought out those particles, but it is still a really nice photograph. I love the idea behind it. The idea behind the photograph is sometimes the most important thing. And I actually never thought of actually trying anything like this. So it just shows sometimes if you have a great idea, explore it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in this example, it works really well. Really cool shot. I'd like to say uh, thank you for using the hashtag and great work. So our next photograph today is by Mike Straw Photos and this is a really nice photograph Mike. Mike is actually a mate of mine from university and it's nice that he's using a hashtag so uh, cheers mate. And uh, what can I say, this is a fantastic photograph of Nearsburg. I do love this little town, I think it's a town, it's not classed as a village, it's definitely a town. Really do love it, it's a really nicely composed shot. I really do like the colour reproduction, I've seen you've just got a new lens, the 35mm on the Fuji X-T3, amazing lens and a superb photograph. Great work, buddy. Keep it up. And thank you for using the hashtag. I'll see you back at uni. Behave yourself. So our next photograph today is by Travel Geography Life and this again is a really simple but a really well executed and really well done photograph of these, what are they, sugar strands? I think they're called sugar strands, I honestly have no idea what they are called but making a love heart out of them is a really cool idea, I love the colours, love the textures, it just combines really nicely especially with the lighting as well to make a really cool simple but efficient photograph. Great work Travel Geography, thank you for using the hashtag and can't wait to see what you can continue to create in the future. So our next photograph today is taken by Andy's Images and this photo of this Lynx Cub is incredible. Look at how tack sharp that image is. Even on Instagram, you can just imagine it without Instagram's compression, how sharp that image will be and how clean it is in terms of ISO performance. It is just the cleanest, sharpest photograph perfection hats off to you mate that is fantastic i also love the separation between the background and the subject and i love that you've got it in its own like camouflaged environment it just all combines really nicely and the main main thing i must mention the way you have got it looking straight at you dead eye straight into the camera <sighs> amazing shot mate incredible keep up the fantastic work I love that shot. It is so good. Next photographs today are by Tom X Witten, and these are some incredible product shots. I love these photographs. My favorite one, me personally, has to be that second one with the reflection in the water. You can see the particles. It's tack sharp. It just looks so good. It's such a simple idea as well, but it is amazingly executed. The depth of field, the colour, everything about these photographs just scream professional, incredible and just eye-catching results. These are just incredible. Honestly, amazing work here. Keep up this brilliant work and uh, yeah, what can I, what can I say apart from amazing photographs, incredible work. I love it. You guys are like so creative, like the work. Whew, I just can't believe it. It's just awesome. So my next photograph today is by Karen Photography 27 and this is a really awesome, incredibly detailed photograph of, uh, it's that bubble technique, I don't know what it's called, but it's uh, where you can just get like a 
very liquid kind of bubble thing and just get some really cool effects. I don't know how you've got those intricate and amazing colors in this photograph though. It is so eye-catching and so incredible. It's out of this world. And like you said in your uh, description, which planet is it? I'd say that looks like either Venus or Mars or a mix of both. It just looks, I can't stop looking at it because it just looks so cool. I love this photograph, really well done. I love the lighting as well. I like the low key and the uh, black background and you've only got the main subject with all the light on it. It just really draws your eye in to this photograph and it is a fantastic shot. Brilliant work, keep it up, it's out of this world. Our next photograph today is by Nipsha Photography and wow, this is an amazing shot of St. Paul's Cathedral over the bridge where it is completely empty. I love photographs of cities, especially big cities that are occupied by millions of people but in the morning it is a desolate ghost town. And I love that about some photography where you can get unique results like this. I really want to visit London again and do photography like this. Be there in the evening, be there in the morning and just get incredible photographs. And this is just why. This photograph just sings so many different songs in one photograph. The clouds are dramatic. The whole idea of the photograph of it being desolate, being abandoned, you being alone is amazing. It all combines together really nicely and the composition on top of all this is superb. Right bang, in the centre, boom, St Paul's Cathedral. What else can be said apart from an incredible photograph, Nipshaw? I absolutely love it. Our next photograph today is by Bart and I really do like this photograph it's just so well composed. It's such a simple but great idea. You're probably sitting there in your bedroom or wherever this was and just saw a sunset out of it and thought, boom, that makes a nice photograph. And it really does. It's such a simple but an amazing photograph. Sometimes you can just get the best photographs in your own home and this is why. If you get a sunset outside your window, make the most of it, you might be able to get some incredible photographs like this one. I even like that the image isn't completely clean. It's clean of ISO, very clean image that way, but the window still has some dirt on it. It just it expresses a certain mood as well. I can imagine this in an opening of a film, you know, maybe like the camera's panning through from the sunset in the morning and you get this grimy window it really suggests that maybe this is a rundown place it's maybe it to be fair it's probably not a rundown place it's just probably a very dirty window but it can give that sense of mood and feeling the golden glow on the photograph of course is amazing and i love the lens flare what can I say apart from an amazing photograph, really simple, but a really well executed and amazing photograph. Great work Bart, keep it up, I love it. Next photograph today is taken by Hosh Ulls Click and this is a really interesting photograph of you holding the moon almost or just it floating above your hand. I'm really interested to see how you actually put this photograph together because you've even got the glow on your hand perfectly matching the glow of the moon. It is a really nicely composed and put together photograph. I love that the rest of the image is black, just showing that the light, the only light source in the photograph is from the moon in such a small contextualized photograph. It is just a really interesting, really intricate, well taken photograph. I really do like it. Brilliant work, what can I say? Just fantastic. So our next photograph today is by Nick and this is a fantastic photograph of this model and really well put together photograph. I love the amount of effort you must have put into this shot to get to a location like this. To even find a location like this must be hard. There's one near York that I sadly don't think anyone can get into where it has these columns that go all the way down and it's just incredible for photography and also incredible if you want to do some portraiture photography like this. This this image is really punchy, it's really contrasty, has a lot of great saturation in there and I love the separation between your subject and the background. I don't know if it would have been better maybe with a bit more of a shallower depth of field because it seems pretty wide open but that's just my personal preference, that is how I would perceive this image but personally I would also try both. I would try a shallow depth of field and I'd also try a wide open depth of field just to see what looks I get and see which one I prefer but um, yeah this is a brilliant photograph buddy, I really do like it and uh, great work 
keep it up and thank you for using the hashtag. Our next photograph today is by Chessa Style and wow, this central shot of this boat with the reflection, with the colours, with that gradient in the background with almost that pink sky is a amazing photograph that is that i can imagine that on a really nice print a really nice portrait print that would look fantastic it is a fantastic photograph really nicely composed it's amazing sometimes when that perfect photograph when you're like you're waiting for something to just align perfectly you get the snap you look down and you're like boom i just got the shot that is that type of photograph when you wait perfectly for the opportunity and it just comes to fruition and it just is created so amazingly what can i say lovely colors really nice reflection really nicely composed a perfect all-round shot really do love it great work chester style keep it up i just love it nice work our next photograph is by Jezzer Takes Photos. That is an awesome username. And I really do like this droplet photography. I tried it myself a few weeks ago and got some really cool results, but I love this one. We've got three droplets in one. Really nice detail, sharp image. It is incredible. I also like the background you have chosen. It just really works nicely with the colors in this photograph. Really stands out, really works. And I love it just before it hits the water. You've been able to take the perfect photograph what else can be said but this is just a really sharp really cool photograph and if you haven't tried this type of photography before or you haven't seen the video it'll be in the eye corner here so uh, you can go and watch that video as well maybe help you out because there's a few tips and tricks and how to get that type of photography as well i actually didn't even use an automated dispenser for it i just used a syringe and i was able to get some really cool photographs hopefully in the future i might try and play with it again and get two of them splashing against each other but this is some of the awesome results you can get right here and it really has been taken really nicely great work jezza keep it up and thank you for using the hashtag so our next photograph today is by Christian Binder and wow, this is taking ice photography to a new level. Fire, ice and slap bang in the middle, it's law baby. I, this is a really cool photograph. Also, how did you do the fire? safely like i'm really interested in your set setup i'd really like to see like behind the scenes and how you actually put all this together it's just such an incredible photograph and the image just screams at you like look at me look at what i can be uh, and it just it just works so nicely the tones are really nicely matched together they really do work the colors are perfect and spot on but the whole effect of the image is the most standout part for this image it just grabs your attention immediately you just think oh it's a strawberry and ice with water with fire as well what can i say apart from fantastic photograph buddy love this work keep it up it's so cool I think that's going to be the last post we're going to look at today. Now, I must say a massive thank you to everyone who is using the hashtag CP Photos. It's great seeing your work and interacting with you guys. I also must say a massive apology to everyone because I haven't been making these videos that frequently, but I've decided that I'm going to make a video like this maybe every month or every two months just so I get a wider spread between content so it's not like three or four videos than another one of these it's going to be maybe 10 or so videos just so it thinks a bit more widespread and works better for me but when i do some photography idea videos i might also continue looking at the hashtag cp photos so definitely don't stop using the hashtag i am going to continue looking through it it just might be every now and then where I have a longer video then just to look over everyone's photographs because I would still like continuing to review and see what photography you are creating. And I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and maybe consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. And until next time, everyone, take care, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Whoa!